Today on The Daily Dose, Microlearning Explained. Since the early memory recall work of Carl Lashley and Wilder Penfield in the 1950s and 60s, it has become widely accepted in research communities that long-term memories are not stored in just one part of the human brain, but rather widely distributed throughout the brain's cortex. After retention, long-term memories are stored throughout the brain as groups of neurons that are primed to fire together in the same pattern that created the original experience. Redundancy of neural storage seems to be one of memory recall's best friends, since if one engram or memory trace is wiped out, duplicate or alternative pathways help us retrieve a given memory with seamless ease. When the old man said to the young man, Sonny, I've forgotten more things than you'll ever know, old guy wasn't far off from the truth. In 1885, German psychologist Hermann Ebbinghaus published his groundbreaking study on memory, where he introduced the world to his forgetting curve, which suggests that after 30 days from learning something new or having a memorable sensory experience, 80% of that memory has been lost to recall. In our current age of information overload, recent advances in microlearning have greatly improved a person's ability to store and retain useful snippets of fully recallable information. Microlearning is a short, focused learning session, usually three to five minutes in length, which helps your brain remember the session's content at a much higher retention rate than standard methods of sustained or endurance learning techniques. Typically designed around rich media content, microlearning provides a learner-centric approach to both educational retention and employee training. Using microlearning platforms like The Daily Dose, you can learn something new every day, allowing you to grow your knowledge base without sacrificing retention. And there you have it, microlearning explained today on The Daily Dose.